Hey guys, Kifancy3 here. Welcome to this kind of update, which I do plan to do this video on Kiss walkthroughs. Just regarding a few things, um, I actually ran up my mum before I just before I'm starting this video regarding to something because obviously she's out in my local town where there is a game store, and I did ask her to pre-order something, but she's not doing that today because she has to do this thing which actually it does take the piss and it kind of just like wastes the time but um, yeah but probably Wednesday um, even if it depends if I do have the day off college Wednesday because on Wednesday I do have this kind of like work experience where I can work with the technicians but I don't know when I will be starting that but if I do have the day off again um, this Wednesday I will actually go down to my local game store and actually pre-order this certain game that I want which comes out November 1st and in the US it comes out October 29th you guys probably know what I'm talking about so um, I do want to quickly say before I actually tell you which game I want to I want pre-order but there's another game which comes out soon which I would like as well but I might wait till Christmas so I have about 23 Yes, no shit. 23 games in my PS3 collection that I do plan to sell. Um, one of them being that I'm giving to my brother, but he hasn't really done anything yet. Um, so, at all in my PS3 collection, I've probably got about... Um, I've probably got about almost 150 games. If you can believe it, um, 100, uh, you know, 120, and you've got 150, yeah, almost 150 games in my collection, and most of these games, which I am going to show you, which ones I do plan to sell. Now, I actually thought about this first. Like, if I do actually plan to sell these to a local game store. Obviously, most game stores, they're going to give you shit money for it, say for like a certain game which came out a few years ago, they're going to give you something like, oh, three or four bucks. Like, you you will you would expect for them to um, buy it for more, say about, you know, five bucks each. But um, most of these games I haven't played, I haven't, I just own them in, in my collection because my dad um, he bought the PS3 when it first came out, like the fat version, obviously I got the slim 120 gig version and most of these games I just don't even play, um, I would like to try them out before I sell them so what what I had decided to do is that I'm going to try these out for the very last time if I like them, I'm going to keep them, if I don't like them, I'm going to give them away that's what I plan to do when it comes to games that I didn't really really enjoy didn't really get into it, I'll try it once more, if I don't necessarily like it, I'll plan to set it. So, obviously the, the one game which I did say to, to uh, my brother that he can have, because this certain game, um, I got it, and it didn't it didn't even work, like, I, it was working for a few days and then I actually did a video where it gave me this startup operation error and I couldn't do anything, so there was a... Um, another edition for it with uh, extra characters, DLC characters and some skins and um, yeah so that game I'm going to give to my brother for £10 because um, that's the price which I when I bought it is um, Mortal Kombat yes I'm giving away Mortal Kombat to my brother because I've actually got the complete edition this is the complete edition which I'm keeping so my brother's going to have this original one. Um, I don't know when he's going to give me the money for it, but hopefully sometime soon. So the next game, which I plan to sell, and I'm not sure if I want to do a playthrough of this, even though this is kind of like a short game. Um, I think it's got about six chapters for this, and obviously it's an easy platinum. I've got this back in 2011 this platinum. Obviously you complete it in hard mode and then that's it, you've got the platinum. Um, 
Yeah, but still not sure if I want to do a playthrough of this. I might actually play it for the very last time and then sell it. I'm not so sure. But, um, yeah. But, like I said, I'm not playing this since 2011. I might give this another go and then sell it. But, who knows. And that game is Terminator Salvation. Um, do enjoy the Terminator movies. I didn't necessarily like Terminator Salvation. I think my favourite Terminator would have to be either the, the first or Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Um, I kind of like Terminator 2 better than the first one, so I do plan to get rid of Terminator Salvation. The next game I plan to sell is... Now, I do like some racing games, and yet yeah, I've got two games, which are, no, three games, sorry, which are kind of like racing, and obviously I just, I didn't really like them. Um, or it wasn't it wasn't for me, you know. So the first one that I do plan to get rid of. Um, no, I must say I must have played about ten minutes of this and I was like, no, it's not for me. I do prefer other driving games like Need for Speed, Driver, those kind of games. And so um So the first one that I do plan to get rid of is Ridge Racer Seven. Yeah it's yeah, yeah, it's Ridge Racer, but it, it wasn't for me. There's nothing I can say about that one. Um, the next one is Juiced 2, Hot Import Nights. And the next one, I did actually buy this from Cash Converters. I think it was last year or the year before. I'm not so sure. And um, I must play about half an hour of it. I don't think it wasn't my type of game. And that is Formula One 2010. So well, that's the driving games that I plan to get rid of. The next one, um, I do actually have the control of this. I can't be bothered to take it down. But um, I actually got this for for Christmas back in 2010, I believe. And it was something I really wanted to try out. I actually bought um, the the other game with this controller at Game Station um, a few months after and um, yeah it, it, I think it was alright but I don't think it's one of those games I play all the time just like every now and again so I do plan to get rid of these games with the controller and that is both um, I don't have the box anymore so that's kind of a shame so those games I do plan to get rid of is Tony Hawk's Ride and Tony Hawk's Shred yeah didn't I quite liked it when I first got it, but now it just seems that I don't really play it anymore. It's not my kind of thing that I would like to play. Um, I do enjoy the original games when like the original Tony Hawk's came out for the PlayStation 1, the Dreamcast. Then it all came to um, American Wasteland, I believe it was called. Then you had um, Project 8, which which were pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So I'm probably going to say goodbye to Tony Hawk's Ride and Tony Hawk's Shred. The next one, um, you guys are probably going to kill me for this. I did, because I said I will not be getting the second um, game in the series. And um, I must have played, I probably got a quarter through in the game. And I was like, huh, should I actually give this another go? Restart it all over again so I get to know what to exactly do this time. Um, and the game that I'm talking about, and I did actually buy this in my local cash converters when I bought this. You guys are probably going to kill me because I'm getting rid of this. Is Dark Siders 1. Yep, play for a quarter through the game. I might as well give this another shot. If I don't really get into it, then I'm going to get rid of it. Now the next one, um, I'm probably going to leave the other one um, like to last because you guys are probably going to kill me for this one as well. Um, the next game I will be getting rid of. I think this was an okay game, but it wasn't kind of like a big hit. Um, actually, I'll take that back. I think it was a big hit when it actually released. Um, but I say the game was quite alright, and, and that game is Haze. So yeah, I'm getting rid of Haze. Another game 
Um, now, a friend of mine actually said, oh, he wanted to try it, but obviously I tried it, I must have played about 10 minutes of it, and I don't think it was as that good as I thought it would be. Um, and that is Condemned 2. Now, the next one, I must have played about 5 to 10 minutes of it, and I said, this game is just... Yeah, it, I think it was pretty bad. Enemy Territory Quake Wars. I'm going to get rid of that. That's going bye-bye. Now the next one. This has been in my collection ever since like my dad actually bought the... Um, you know, the, when the PS3 first released. And I've been looking at this game. I said, oh, it looks pretty interesting. Shall I try it out? But I noticed within the memory, obviously, where... I kind of play loads of games, obviously I don't have much space on my hard drive so I would have to delete some game day of my hard drive in order to play this game. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to try this and um, yeah I might keep it, who knows. And that is Blade Storm: The Hundred Years War. So if you guys have played this, let me know if it's any good um, before I end up selling it. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay. Well, now the sun's really getting in now. Right, the next game. Um, I don't think it was the kind of game for me. Um, I do know that um, the new one, the uh, third game. Um, actually, let, let's actually reveal this first. This is Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Um, I know Ninja Gaiden 3 was quite good, I actually played the demo, I quite like Ninja Gaiden 3. Um, I'll give this another go, Ninja Gaiden, before I actually sell it, so that's one I do want to sell. Then the next one, this is another one which I have not played, but I do actually think it's worth a shot. If you guys, again, have played this, let me know if it's any good, and that is Genji Days of the Blade. So let me know if that's any good. Right, and the last few um, games which I plan to sell. Um, now, this one I recently I did a platinum video. I got my 21st platinum for this certain game where I just collected the rest of the crests. And I have not got part one and two of the last of the last games in the series. Um, I do have the Lego game, um, but I do need to get years five to seven. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I do plan to get rid of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Harry Potter the Half Blood Prince. Uh, these were pretty good in my opinion. Obviously, the crests for Half Blood Prince were a pain. All the Phoenix, if this had trophies, I would actually get all the trophies for these. But it's a shame that um, Sony did not actually add any trophies for this game. But if they did, I would actually get all the trophies for these. But uh, I do plan to get rid of these because there's no need for me to keep these, even though I've got the platinum for Half Blood Prince, and I won't be playing all all of the Phoenix anymore. So they're going bye bye. I am keeping the Lego um, Harry Potter games, just to say. But like I said, they need to get years five to seven. Now the next one, like I said, you guys are probably gonna kill me for this. I've not played the other the other game. One of them I did. I must have played half an hour of this. I'll give this another shot. It's kind of like one of those games which which is a big hit obviously because they these games were created by Bethesda obviously not the, the company known um, that made Skyrim. Obviously I did want to try Skyrim. I've never played it. I would like to pick it up um, soon. So the game I do plan to sell or the two games. Um, one of them being Fallout 3, which I did try. Played half an hour of this. I'll give this another go. If I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. I'm sorry guys, but it wasn't my kind of game. And the other one, I and the other one I got for Christmas. But I've not played it yet because of Fallout 3. Um, not played it, but I'll give this a go. Fallout New Vegas. So there you go, I do plan to sell Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. 
And now that sun's fucking getting in my eyes, I just want to see how... Okay, 15 minutes through this video. Now the last set of titles, these are PlayStation Move titles. Now, when I, when my mum, she got me U-Star 2, even though I already had it, and I tried sending it to cash converters, and they will not buy it if you had the PSI with it. So if I had the PSI, if I want to sell you um, U Star 2 with the PSI, they would have to they would have taken it. If I didn't have the PSI with me, they wouldn't take it. It's like, what the fuck? It's bullshit. <laughs> but I know some stores like CEX will take it, but I actually got rid of that copy of U Star 2 to my brother. So I don't know if he's actually played it, but I think he's just got it for the collecting purposes. So <laughs> yeah. So the last set of titles, these are PlayStation Move titles, and hopefully CX will give me something for the for this. But even though I still got an eBay account, if I do plan to sell these on eBay, then I will let you know. Um, I'm pro I'm probably only going to be selling in the UK. I'm sorry for the people who are watching that are from the US. I apologise, but you know it's just it's just the way things go. So the first one I plan to get rid of, because I got the platinum for this and there's no need for me to keep it anymore. TV Superstars, we'll be getting rid of that. Another one, I'm just really dreading to get the platinum for this. I tried so hard for, for the last set of trophies. I might actually play it later on, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I would like to get the platinum for this, even though I did play the newer, the newer um, game from the series. I don't know what I would like to get that as well, and that is start the party. I'm trying to get the platinum for this, so when I do, I might actually sell this. The next one, um, this is just ridiculous because you you can unlock the next level to get. You have to get a certain amount of points to get to the next level. It's ridiculous, but it's kind of. Um, I think this game was kind of aimed for kids because they would just play these kind of games. And that is the shoot. Now the next one, I actually saw loads of trailers for this, and I was quite interested. But when I played it, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. And that is um, the fight. So I plan to get rid of that. And now the next one. This was my highest viewed video on my vlog update channel. Um, you can go check it out, and I actually did an unboxing of this as well with with around I think it's about 11,000 views. I think it's close to getting 12,000 views for this video. And I actually did an unboxing of this. I do want to thank everyone that actually watched the unboxing video. Um, and I actually picked this up on release date, and I got the platinum for this. I was like, tw and I actually looked on the website. I was like the 12th person to get this platinum, so I'm pretty proud of myself. And the game I plan to sell is Michael Jackson The Experience, yes. Obviously I do have the other game, Just Dance 4, which I recently picked up this year. Um, still, I haven't played that in quite a while, even though I do like to get have some help with the, um, you know, the dance group trophies, like you need like four, four PS Move controllers just to get a certain trophy. I've got two PS Move controllers. So you're saying that I have to go out and buy two extra PS Move controllers just to get a certain trophy. What the hell are you thinking Ubisoft? But you did a great, um, you know, that, that was a great idea doing um, a dance game with Michael Jackson songs in it. And I quite like this a lot, but this is going bye bye. Michael Jackson experience will be going. And that is about it for um, the games I plan to sell. So. All those tiles right there, I do plan to sell. So like I said, because I ran up my mum, and let me just close this, uh, the curtains here, because the fucking sun. It was supposed to rain today, but seeing as the sun's out, hello. Um, but yeah, from all those games, um, this comes out November 1st. I actually ran up my mum before I did this video, to see if she was going to go to the game store and pre-order pre this for me, um, the collector's edition. Yeah, there's all the games there that I plan to sell. So, um, the game I do actually want, and if I do have the day off Wednesday, I'm actually going to go down there myself and pre-order this. And that is the collector's edition, the Phenom edition for WWE 2K14. 
as you can see on the website it's marked to uh, 60 pounds because paying 20 pound extra for these extra items so what do you get with this well you get the game of course you get the iconic casket packaging which obviously is this which is pretty nice you get the autographed undertaker photo you get the Undertaker 20 and O DVD. I'm not sure if this this is the whole, you know, you know the um, the official DVD with like all the matches and stuff. But um, I'll look into that if I actually get the um, collector's edition. You get the controller skin. Now this is the controller skin. I I'm not actually going to be using this. I know a friend a friend of mine. He's younger brother. He actually does watch the wrestling, and he's actually got like, I think he's got more figures than me, to be honest. So, um, yeah, my my friend, he said he's getting W2K14. I'm not sure if he's getting the collector's edition, but, um, well, sorry guys, I just noticed that my uh, camera charge is running out. Holy shit! <laughs> I actually, sh I actually should have charged this before I actually done this video. There we go. So, um, yeah, like I, like I was saying, sorry about this, guys. Um, yeah, the controller skin. Um, I'm not sure if my friend actually is going to get the collector's edition, but if he doesn't, I'm going to give that controller skin to my brother. Um, his brother, sorry. Because, obviously, he's a wrestling nut job than I am. So, yeah. And also, if you do actually get this, you will not, um, obviously, if you do actually pre-order the original, you'll obviously get the Ultimate Warrior as, like, a, um, pre-order bonus. But if you do get the collector's edition of this, you'll get the Undertaker's American Badass, um, kind of, like, character. Which, obviously, he, he drove around on his motorbike. That was quite cool for him doing that any Undertaker error so yeah I do plan to uh, pre-order that if I got the day off Wednesday but I noticed something else that I would also like but I'm not sure if I would get the collector's edition of course but I might have to wait till Christmas um, to get this but obviously I've got to have to get I probably have to get the original edition and the other game that I do actually want is Beyond Two Souls. This one is being the special edition because it includes the premium steelbook, the exclusive extra game scene, the game soundtrack, a dynamic theme and avatar pack, and the making of featurettes. Wow, that is quite good for a, spe a special edition. And Beyond Two Souls, the creators of Heavy Rain, they did a, they did a great job with Heavy Rain, I must say. Beyond Two Souls looks to be as better than Heavy Rain. So I cannot wait for this to come out, but obviously, like I said, I would probably have to get the original edition. Let me just quickly see on the website. Um, might have to type this in. Beyond Two Souls. But yeah, like I said, the special edition is the same price as the original. So yeah. So obviously, it does not come with any of them, like these the soundtrack on the original editions but I would like to get this game even though if I don't get the special edition even though you know I, I still have it because obviously like I said I did actually get The Last of Us on the first day it came out and I was quite surprised that I actually got the soundtrack in this dynamic theme so yeah so that is about it that I want to say just the games that I do plan to sell and WWE 2K14. I cannot wait for that to come out. I think 2K has done a really good job of some of the new improvements. So I cannot wait for that game. Obviously, when I get it, um, stay tuned to see brand new WWE pay per view simulations on 2K14. I cannot wait for that. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video saying what games I plan to sell and WWE 2K14 um, a few weeks away now. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope this informs you on what games I plan to sell, because obviously I've got a shitload of games. And stay tuned. If I do get the collector's edition of 2K14, 
then we're good to go. I will do an unboxing for you guys and probably do some gameplay. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time and stay tuned for more videos on Kids Walkthroughs and my updates and vlogs on my main channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.